Insert the C-rail into the connecting sleeve all the way to the stops. Unfold the chain. Pull the emergency release and slide the chain into the carriage. Be sure the chain is not upside down. If it is correct, it will slide easily into the sprocket. Slide the carriage together with the chain into the middle of the C-rail. Insert the limit stops front and back. Feed the chain through the opening in the limit stop. Attach the tensioner to the chain and turn it 90 degrees. Insert the slide in part firmly into the C-rail. The metal contact must be facing up. Do not tighten the slide in part with the contact. Attach the chain into the slide in part on the opposite end. Tighten the chain until the washer lines up with the arrow. After inserting the carriage bolts into the ceiling bracket, slide it on the back of the C-ray. The back is the end with the contact. Mount the header bracket above the spring. Connect the C-rail to the header bracket. Open the door and rest the C-rail on top of the door. Fasten the C-rail to the ceiling. Close the door fully. Install the door bracket. Connect the motor carriage to the door bracket. To set the front limit stop, slide it toward the motor carriage. When you hear a slight clicking sound, tighten the screw to secure. Open the door fully to set the back limit stop. Slide the control housing on the C-rail and secure with the plastic fastening bolt.
Install the photo eyes and connect one wire from each eye into terminal 5 and the other wire into terminal 6 of the control housing. It can be helpful to twist the wires together. Install the wall station. Connect one wire into terminal 3 and the other wire into terminal 4 of the control housing. When the opener is initially connected to the main power supply, the lights will blink and you will hear a clicking sound. Press the learn button on the control housing once and the radio LED will come on. Press the desired button on the transmitter. Hold for approximately three seconds and the radio LED will go out. The transmitter is now programmed. Your opener has an intelligent control system and needs to learn the exact forces required to open and close the door. The opener needs to complete four full cycles. Press the button once between each movement. When the lights stop blinking and the clicking sound stops, the learning process is complete. Insert the C-rail into the connecting sleeve all the way to the stops. Pull the emergency release and slide the chain into the carriage. Slide the carriage together with the chain into the middle of the C-rail. Connect the C-rail to the header bracket. Fasten the C-rail to the ceiling. Install the door bracket. Connect the motor carriage to the door bracket. Slide the control housing on the C-rail and secure with the plastic fastening bolt. Install the photo eyes and connect one wire from each eye into terminal 5 and the other wire into terminal 6 of the control housing. Install the wall station. Connect one wire into terminal 3 and the other wire into terminal 4. Your opener has an intelligent control system and needs to learn the exact forces required to open and close the door. The opener needs to complete four full cycles. 